Welcome back to the Learning Tech channel, where every day we try to learn something new. Today, I'm going to be talking about grouping. Grouping is a relatively easy thing to do, but it can really spruce up your reports and really make them shine compared to your peers. So it's a good thing to learn. The first thing you want to know is where you can actually start grouping things at. Okay, so you can use the group expert, which is up here. Or you can do insert group, which is right here. I recommend always using the group expert because this way you can actually see if you have any groups already. That way you know what you're doing or the other one will just do it without any concern for the other ones. Now, once again, you can just move things over with the one arrow. Just click it and it'll move right over and you can click it to make it go back. Now, if you do the two arrows, it moves everything in your report fields over just like this, but this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. We'll get into that in just a minute. So we'll hit the two arrows going back to put them back. Now, what we'll do is we will do by ship country, hit the one arrow and now it'll group by that. So we'll hit okay. And as you can see, we got a new group header and group footer. So what you can do, there's more things what you can do with this in just a minute. So first we'll go to print preview. Now you can see Argentina, Austria, and so on. You can also give them more space, make them, you know, stick out a little bit more. So let's go back. So here it is. We can make this bigger. Make this a little bit bigger itself. Always a little bit finicky. Once you see the two arrows like that, then you can bring it down and bring it over. There we go. And Raise it up. Now let's see how that looks. Print preview. There we go. Now it's actually sticking out a lot more. Okay, we'll go back up here to group expert so I can show you a few things. Up here, if you look, this dash A stands for ascending order. Go down here to options. We can choose descending order, specific order, and original order. We hit it in descending order and hit OK. Now you can see that this is now in descending order because of the dash D. We'll go back and we will change that back to ascending. Hit OK. Also in the options menu, there's another options tab. This is where you can do a few extra things such as customize group name field. You can keep group together, new page after one visible group or more. Repeat group header on each page. Now this is something I've seen people use a lot. This is where if you have Argentina uh, going from the middle of the page down and then on the next page, it's still going. I'll put Argentina up there. We'll see if we can get you a, a thing of that real quick. So we'll hit OK for now. Let's go to print preview. So right here, Austria. And yes, it keeps going. So what we can do is so we'll leave preview. And we'll go right back up here to our group expert. Hit options. And then repeat group header on each page. Hit OK. OK. Now, when we go to our print preview, as you can see, it says it right here. But now when we go to the next page, it will have it on that. And since it keeps going, it will also have it on any following pages. There we go. Now we finally got a different one. 
See Belgium. Okay, so that's a nice little trick to know. You may use it, you may not. So what we'll do is we'll go back to Group Expert. We'll go back to Options and turn that back off. Options. And then uncheck that and hit OK. And hit OK. Now another big thing you can do here is, let's take a look at it right now, as is. So we got Argentina, and then right here you can tell what each of these are. But when we get down here to Austria, as you can tell, it has no headers, so we don't know. I mean, we know because, you know, it's not hard to understand, but for clarification, we can add the headers here. Watch this. So we'll go back and we will make this bigger. Now we'll grab all these, control, holding control and clicking them. We can move them all together. And we'll give them a little bit of space between there. So now let's go see how that looks. So as you can see, it says the country and then gives our headers Austria and then once again it shows the headers so to me this does look better I prefer this way even though you know all these are going to stay the same it still just looks more aesthetically pleasing and I think it makes for a better report okay as a little bonus tip as you see me move all these right here by control clicking on all of them and then grabbing them and moving them down. An easier way to do that is go to whatever field you want to move. So for example, details, right click on it, and then hit select all section objects. This will automatically highlight them all for you where you can move them anywhere you wanted. Just a little bit of a quicker way to do it. And then you can always just control Z to go back. Now just a few more little things to let you know before we end this video. One is in print preview, which we've always been going to view in print preview. You can also just click it up here. If we expand this out, you can actually see the groups and you can actually go straight to them. So say if you want to hurry up and go there and see what's going on, which can make it extremely useful. So that's just something to keep in mind. And it's a good way to see what all countries we have in here and how they're spelled. Okay, so we'll exit out of that. Another thing to, you know, consider is not everything needs to be grouped. You want to be sensible with grouping. So if we go here and we send this back and say we do Let's do customer, let's grab customers, customer contact name. We'll put that in there. Now if we go back to group expert, if we group by this, also I didn't hit okay whenever I did that exit out, that's why that did not stick. So you need to always remember to hit okay. But if we group by customer name, hit okay. As you'll see, this isn't a great way to do this. If we had a lot more records, this would get really clunky with all the different names. And it's just, you know, you want to be sensible with what you do choose to group with. States, countries, all that makes sense. Uh, it, dates can also make sense. It's all depending on what kind of, you know, report you're trying to build. And the last little tidbit that I'll add in to here is we need to change this back. So back to group expert. Send that back. And we will do country again. But as you can see, all our headers are gone now. So we'll make this bigger again. And we'll select all. And we're going to control C for copy. We're going to click up here and hit Control V. 
But as you can see, it gives us this little thing where we want it. We'll put it right above that one. And now it's all back to the way it was. If you found this video helpful, please give me a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.